uh, with this pro to having already done combine and some others? Oh yeah, no, I did well at the combine. So I was happy with my numbers. If it was anything that I didn't like over there, I probably would have ran my 40 or did my uh, 225 bench, but I thought I performed really well at the combine. And uh, just about coming out here, doing your basic old line drills and uh, you know trying to do the best job I can going 100% and uh, no, that's, that's about all I did today. So now it's like it's kind of a waiting game until uh, draft day in April and yeah definitely um, no just waiting waiting until the draft i um, working over at Velocity with my brother so that's been an experience but uh, yeah just getting bigger stronger put more bulk in my frame uh, working on my technique and improving my craft and that's that's basically the process now. The response has been about as good as you uh, could have expected everything you've gone through? Yeah no it's it's you no know, what I expected and more um, Obviously, having my brother, you know, to help me out with the combine, tell me everything to expect. You know, it's, it's still eye-opening because, you know, you have to experience it, you know, to truly understand what it's all about. But uh, you know, definitely having a lot of help about, uh, around me with my, my father, my brother, and uh, talking to a lot of tackles around the league. And, uh, you know, I've, I've definitely had a lot of help in this whole process. Did, did you do better than you expected out there? Did you prefer Today? No, no. Uh, at the combine. Um, yeah, you know what? Um, I think it was it was a progressionally building up to that. Um, working over at API in Phoenix, uh, you know, I was I was a little lighter, um, not as strong, um, not as fast, and I think overall, you know, continuously working on to improve those things. You know, they helped me a lot, and uh, you know, I, I did you know everything I wanted to do at the combine. I was I was really happy with my performance. There's a lot of projections out there. Do you have a pretty good idea of where you're going to be going drafting? Uh, no, you know, anything can happen on draft day, and it's you know whoever drafts me, I'm going to work my butt off there in a starting spot, and uh, you know, bring whatever I can to that team. After this whole process, the combine, this today, is there anything in the world they don't know about you? Um, you know, I think just to know me as a person. You know, I'm a great person. Uh, you know, a good Catholic. Uh, you know, just just overall as a person, just getting to know me. But I, I'm pretty sure you know that they know everything I can do on the field, and uh, there's no doubt about that. You looking forward to draft day? You plan on going to New York? Yeah, no, I'm gonna do? go to New York. Um, Gonna bring my whole family. Coach Giffen's gonna be up there, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be an exciting experience. Yeah, I can't wait for that. How to handle this situation about to being drafted? Excuse me. How to handle this situation about to be drafted? For, for an I know, not not really focusing on that. Uh -huh. um, you know, just focus on working out and uh, doing anything I can to improve as a player. And that's that's my focus right now. And uh, you know, the, the draft will just be part of the process. Now, was there anything about the process? You know, getting to know you and learning about you that seemed kind of you know. Uh, why are they doing this? Or, you know, not really. I think uh, um, you know a lot of GMs, a lot of owners made it clear that their locker rooms, everything, that that's what makes and defines a team. And uh, I think it's about knowing what kind of person you know that they're potentially going to draft. And uh, you know, it's just about going in the meetings, you know, introducing yourself and tell them kind of your family history and your story. And uh, I think they just want to know you as a person. When your dad was taking you out to the park and you know those drills that you probably thought were you know, annoying yeah. back in the day. Did you ever envision that it could, you know, one day become? You know, you know not at the time, because yeah, as a kid, you want to play wide receiver, tight end. You know, who wants to play tackle? But uh, you know, I think uh, parents have a better understanding of you know what's best for your future, and uh, you know, it's it's worked out so far. So you know, I have no regrets looking back. When you're doing these drills out here, do you do you like in your mind? Is it take you back to those days? To the oh, first definitely. Time I think I think not just things? that, but everything I've learned throughout the whole process. Um, just little technique things uh, and it's basically you know it may look like a simple block but in my head I have the process of what step to take what hand to use what it's, it's definitely uh, uh, has to do with a lot of technique and it's something I've learned over time you look like you're having fun doing it. yeah that was you fun enjoy it, don't you? that was fun I definitely love playing online uh, you know the, these drills uh, come easy to me because I've been doing them my whole life so you know it's just kind of second nature to me not if, running today is that because you ran